It has been a bit of a dictatorship here with Verendar. You know, it's either her way or not her way. No, 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 no. Verendar is a control freak. She is involved in everything. She will not release or relinquish control ever. Here's the ball. You want me to put it in? She's not a people person. She has no people skills. She just screams out demands, and she's very rude at times. Paul! French onion on here, now. There is such a turnover with staff that I don't even know their names. In eight months, I've probably seen over 50 people go. Some people come in for one shift, and they listen to her for five minutes, and they roll right out the door. I wish I had two clones of me, and believe me, this place would be hopping. I feel the brook might have become like the laughing stock of Newtown. So the reputation around town is that, you know, no nonsense. They call me the crazy lady, which is fine to me. You know what? If I'm crazy because I'm trying to save the business, so be it. I think we're at that point where this is really our last chance. If we don't figure something out, it's either sell it, get rid of it, because we can't sustain it. Before I came to town, I heard the Brick Hotel had a high turnover rate. So I had my team reach out to former employees so I can get some information before checking in. Uh, first of all, good morning. Good morning. I've never met such a large team of ex-employees. Uh, small showing. This is a small showing? Yes. Oh, yeah. What, there's more? There's a hundreds. Lot more. Hundreds. 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 I would say hundreds. Um, how much turnover is there with staff? Constantly. When I left, Verindar had been through almost 50 managers. 15? 50. 50. 50 managers? 50. And the biggest problem with the place is what? Verindar. She's been cruel to people. I watched her, and she's, she's mean, and she can be a bully, and I've seen her reduce people to tears. Wow, that's terrible. You know, there's so much neglect between not only the staff, her managers, but her customers as well. Seriously? I couldn't take it anymore. I worked the holiday season, and it was kind of like the last straw for me. And what made you quit? I worked all of those parties through the whole month of December. I was lucky to receive some payback, like in February. With your tips? Yeah, she'll cut you a check in six weeks when she feels like it. She wouldn't let you go pick up your paycheck. She so... called the cops on you. You said she called the cops on you? Oh, all the time, yes. numerous yes. times. Yes. Seriously, called yes. the yes. police because you wanted your money? Yes. yes. You're threatening her. Yes. Seriously? I mean, it sounds like a dictatorship as opposed to mm -hmm. a boss that's there to support. People loved it there. It was very homey, the opposite of now. All the locals came. We had a booming hotel business. Wow. It was such a great place, and then the quality just steadily went downhill, and I think she had a complete lack of respect for the staff and didn't understand that your staff is a huge asset. What a mess. Can I ask you a question? Please. Have you met her? Oh, no, at least I just arrived. Seriously, ah, flew into Philly this morning. You are in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> I was curious, just by the way you were speaking, because I thought he hasn't met her yet, has he? No, no, no. So calling the cops, you know, high staff turnover, um, standards dropping. I haven't got much confidence. However, I'm going to tackle it head on. You don't look very optimistic, do you? <laughs> Thank you. Well, wish me luck. Thank you. Take care.